Come on, my little sugar buggers. What is up? Welcome back to the channel. So today, you guys, we are going to do a mod haul. I don't know. A mod haul, mod showcase. I'm not really sure. It's something along the lines of like, let's CC shop with me, except it's more of like a showcase, I guess. Basically, what I've done in a nutshell is I went ahead and kind of scoured my favorite um, places to look for mods and found some things I didn't have in my game quite yet. And I thought they were really interesting. So I wanted to share them with you guys. And so in the description, I will have kind of like a little menu with timestamps so that you guys can kind of skip around the video check out the mods that you're interested in and then I will have links to the downloads underneath each individual timestamp so let's go ahead and do a quick little overview of the mods I will be reviewing in this video so the first one is on uh, what is her name little miss Sam's website I love this chick for all the mods like she just she's amazing she's brilliant she's genius and there's such like minute mods some of them but they really add that little extra sparkle to your game so the first one is the small invite to hang out overhaul and basically what this is going to do is it's gonna give you a new uh, interaction at Target Sims to invite them over to hang out it's gonna open up a brand new um, little pie menu thing here and you can actually uh, select different sims even if you've never met them before you don't need to know these sims and it just I think you can bring over multiple sims at once so you don't have to like start a party or anything like that so really excited to take a peek at that and then the next one that I really liked and for whatever reason never really even thought of again by Little Miss Sam is the go for a walk mod very simple basically what you do is you click on your sim and instead of only, only having the option to go for a jog, they can now take a little walk around their neighborhood. The cool thing about this mod is it actually uh, will reduce the following buffs. So it's gonna reduce your sad, embarrassed, bored, angry, stressed, uncomfortable, and teenage mood swing moods. And then it also says children and teens will gain emotional control when going for a walk. You'll also get random buffs, which I think is really sweet, you know, being able to kind of reduce some of the ill feelings that you're experiencing and also being able to kind of regain your cooth and earning that extra emotional control just kind of again takes it to the next level so then there's also this one which I thought was really interesting and it's called Simbe and basically you can take all the items that you have handcrafted and even your artifacts that you get from uh, Salva Dorada and you can actually sell them on the interwebs I know I know I don't know why but I thought it was kind of cute so basically while using our service there's no time waiting to get your money uh, you'll get the highest possible retail value and then it explains how to use the service basically um, you can use their service online at the computers under the web apply menu the items must be in your inventory you can submit uh, four items within 24 hours so there's kind of a little limit there for the item to get appraised after submitting four items you will have to wait until your account is reopened we'll notify you when your account is open for submissions again which i think is just so freaking sweet so what does a service cost to you we charge a small service fee of 10 percent it'll be directed directly from the estimate retailed price what items do we accept so they accept self self-crafted woodwork uh, but poor poor quality items cannot be submitted they also accept paintings fossils mounted fish artifacts and treasures yeah i don't know why but i thought that was so freaking awesome like that is just amazing to me and then we've got um the option to now name frogs and aliens i don't know i've always wanted to do that so i thought that was kind of cute and then over here we have home lot visitors stay longer so you know when you invite people over and like within a few hours they leave well there's an option to have them stay for like 8 to 12 hours and obviously when you're ready for them to go home you can just tell them to shoo but the thing is is I had no idea that the game actually had a four hour timer in place for any visitors that come over and I feel like four hours in the Sims 4 just isn't a lot of time especially if you maybe want to have like a play date or maybe have your Sims stay over the night um, do a little slumber party or something so I thought that one was actually very very helpful and the last mod that I have is kind of a functioning piece of CC and basically it's a functional royal black heart tea set where you're able to go and pour some different um, types of tea so you basically can do all of the things that a traditional teapot can do but it's just on this tea platter which I think is really cute and actually makes this object functional so those are the items we will be checking out in this brand new mod haul if you guys are interested just keep watching 
So I'm pretty sure you all are very familiar with these three Sims. Here we've got Miss Liberty Lee, Miss Summer Hoaday, and then over here we've got the Travis Scott impersonator because, honey, you look nothing like Kylie's boo. I don't know if I'm blind or <laughs> I'm doing a double do, but, like, seriously, I, that, I just thought that that was the funniest freaking thing ever when I came in and I remembered his name was Travis Scott. I'm like, oh, my God. Did anybody else notice that or is it just me? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through the list of mods that I have on my handy dandy note sheet. Miss Liberty Lee is going to go and invite her family over. So one thing I did not mention about this mod, just because I was going through the description pretty quick, is that this is for family members only. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, oh, Jen. But maybe in the future, Little Miss Sam can make it so that, you know, it could be family members and friends, possibly. I don't know. I mean, it kind of makes sense that it wouldn't be the whole kit and caboodle because some games can have like 200 Sims and that would be a really hard thing to like have to go and filter through all of them. But I thought maybe these little filtration tabs would help with that. I don't know. But I like this. And the reason why I like this is because you still can select as many sims as you like up to 25 and you again don't need to have a relationship with them even though liberty does have a relationship with her family you don't need it to which is really cool if you have a large and extended family um, and maybe you haven't gotten the chance to meet everybody in that family or say somebody had a a baby and they turned into a toddler and you'd like to meet them or you know watch them or whatever you know pretending like you're babysitting there's just a lot of cool things that you could do with this mod I have no idea I guess you could do it the other way too but anyways so we went ahead and added all three of her family members and we didn't have to send out individual invites and because we have the visitors stay longer mod they'll basically be here for a total of eight hours and with that mod you can actually between uh, pick between eight hours and 12 hours just depending on how long you would like them to stay so everybody is coming over you get a little notification which is pretty freaking sweet and then over here we've got our little teapot set which i thought was really cool and in case you guys are wondering if this is just going to add a double teapot to your game it is but this one will be a functioning decor item instead of the other one that just kind of sits there and looks pretty but you can't use it. So uh, Summer actually already tested this out and it's going to act as a traditional coffee brewer or not coffee brewer, but tea brewer, except it's going to look like this. It's going to be a little bit different. You still get the moodlets and all that kind of fun stuff. We're going to have her go ahead and brew a pot of, um, let's do a steamy ginseng. How about that? And I want to know, how about that? I want to know how much this costs opposed to an actual tea set so this is five hundred dollars and then uh the tea brewing machine is only 275 dollars but then again i mean this is like casted out of gold so you know you're gonna, you're gonna pay a premium for that but i thought maybe it would be cheaper but honestly a freaking teapot set is not that expensive or a tea brewing set it's only 275 dollars so it looks like i don't know what the hell summer's doing she's voguing over here but uh we're gonna go and brew up that pot of tea and let's see travis scott what do you have for me so he's been working really really hard right he's been doing all of his sculptures and all that kind of fun stuff and he has a nice little lot of things he can sell and it looks like he's kind of researching it right now so what we're going to do is we are going to go over the sell on Simbay mod. So what you do is you find your computer and then you hit the web tab. And then underneath the web tab, it sells, it says sell via Simbay. And although you can totally make a wide array of items with the, um, what you call it set I forgot what the name of it is but you can make a lot of the woodworking set you can make a lot of different things you actually need to only make items that will fit in your inventory so if you make a beautiful mirror or bench or whatever items you can make obviously those aren't going to fit in your inventory so you can't sell them on some bay I don't know maybe shipping is just too expensive so he does have um, a little a little lot of some smaller items we have the large lumberjack sculpture sculpture and it actually says the value right here is $60 we've got a knife block set value of $20 then we have the horse sculpture value of 40 and the elephant sculpture value of what was it 42 both of these are 40 okay uh before we go and accept that deal i just want to see okay i was just wondering if possibly the value that they were giving me was a different than the value that was in my inventory but it looks like it's the same so i'm gonna go back on here and i'm gonna sell 
um, all of the things in my inventory, but it looks like you actually have to go through and you sell them individually. And remember, the limit is four items, I want to say, a day. So that might, I would just want to, like, I'm basically selling the maximum just so I am able to get that notification. So it says, congratulations, the item, uh, would you believe Jolly Lumberjack set was accepted by our experts and the estimated retail value minus the service fees and sales commission was credited to your account. That is so freaking cute. I love that. Oh, my God. I mean, it's a little tedious that so you have to go in here and sell each individual item, but I only earned like five extra simoleons minus the 10%. So I don't really know what that equates to. And then I only earned a dollar there, but obviously the higher the item, whether it's a painting or something like that, I'm pretty freaking sure that you would get more money. It's just we're selling some lower ticketed items. So we went and sold everything on Sembe, but I don't know if our account... Okay, so you submitted four items within 24 hours service rule. Uh, you'll get a notification when your account is open for object submitting again. I like that. Am I the only one that likes these small little details or am I just like freaking wasting your time right now? Because I honestly love that. I think that is just so damn cute. What are you doing? Uh, is Scott in Liberty like a thing? Uh, not really, but he's totally <laughs> sleeping with her in the same bed, which is fine. I'm not judging. Okay, cool. All right, so next, what we can do is we can go over into Summer's room. Earlier, she captured herself a striped leaf frog. And the fun thing about the being able to rename your uh, frogs and lizards is, well, you're able to rename them. So they're not just going to sit here like, just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about naming an item or, I could, well, in this this instance it's a creature i just like it. it makes it more personal like it makes me feel like it's 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 my pet and now if only we could actually feed these things it would feel like we had real lizards in our game i mean even though it's just a band-aid so we can name the frog anything we want and we're gonna name him toads like toads like toads awesome i don't know we're just gonna name him toads and then i don't know if it oh it does it actually says toads oh i love it it's so small little details but i absolutely freaking adore so now we've got a frog named toads we've sold some stuff on simbe we've invited over our family and we're stuck here for another eight hours i actually think that's a really freaking cool option too because if you have the 12 hour option um installed you could make it so like they're staying at your house kind of and then you know and then maybe if you did it twice it's like they're just staying over for a day or maybe if you did it four times it's like a weekend i don't know they should extend it they should they should extend how long your family or whoever um you invite over stays because then you could do like they're just staying with you for like a long weekend could you imagine having the in-laws with you oh my goodness gracious like that would be amazing so i definitely think there should be like eight hours 12 hours 24 hours and maybe 48 hours that would be like freaking key dude that would be so great so um the last one that we have to showcase today is going to be the go for a walk mod so poor summer here she's stuck with freaking liberty's family and of course liberty is fast asleep uh summer is going to wake up from her nap and we're gonna have her go on a relatively short walk so basically to go on a walk versus going obviously on a jog you click your sim and then it says go jogging or it'll tell you to go for a walk it doesn't tell you but you have the option and i like this i really do i feel like this is something that's kind of like almost a no freaking brainer like a duh like you would want this in your game and look i'm like expecting her to go run <laughs> but she's just she's just walking down the street just literally going for a stroll i love that i don't know why it's just it's it's the little things it truly freaking is so i'm pretty positive she'll probably do this for i don't know maybe like a couple hours maybe like an hour or so you know or at least to the end of the walk and then back down to her house again is kind of what she's um looking like she's doing yeah no no nope. literally down the block back over here and next to her house and i think that's about it you guys so in the comments down below as the question of the day which one out of these mods is your favorite and which ones are you going to be downloading uh anyways guys i hope you all enjoyed this little mod haul and if you'd like me to do more of these since they are kind of small and don't really need their own individual video i mean look we just showcased five mods and like freaking 10 minutes let me know in the comments down below and with that said don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below with the sun and shine and i will see you all next time bye guys do you miss me at all do you think about the things we used to do no you could
couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call?